Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. So where are we? All right. It's clearly a dark and stormy night. We only have a little bit of a candle burning beside us. And in front of us is a book that I have never seen before. It looks very worn. Are there pieces missing? Well, let's go ahead and step Dear in. Dear reader, oh. allow me to introduce you to my book. Okay, it's a talking book. A talking book here on a very dark and stormy night where I have no idea where we are, but it appears that we have been drawn into a new story. So welcome everyone to Beacon Pines. I have no idea where this tale is going to take us, but let's discover it together. And also maybe look over our shoulders for whatever's howling in the middle of the dark night. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. I mean, I don't find very many books in an empty cabin, like in the middle of the night. Just, just FYI. But you know what? Maybe my life would be a lot more exciting if I did. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. Okay, those are the best kinds of stories. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. Okay, so I can't tell. Is this the book talking? Or is this some sort of, like, person talking through the book? It is in that way that you are special. Okay, a little nervous. Without you, there is no story. Okay, and a little bit in love with that idea. Chapter 1. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Okay. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so thematic and just so well put together. All right, so... Oh, wow, and look at the tree. It's so pretty. And it's, okay, it's got a lot of lovely rocks covered in moss. And I think it also has a grave at it. Oh, no, is that why the young boy is walking alone at dawn? I bet that's our parent. I bet, like, that's our mom or something. And I, I already can tell where this is going. All right, book. Oh, look, he's so His cute. His name is Luca Van Horn. And like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Luca Van Horn? That sounds so adorable. Oh, look, okay. Hello, look at him, you guys. Hello, my little friend. Oh, he's so small. He's so small and he's so cute. Oh, okay. Oh, man. All right, I have to emotionally prepare myself because it's kind of obvious why he's here. All right, are you guys ready? I I really hope he's not like orphaned or something. Or maybe this is like the family dog and, and it lived a long, happy life, right? Nope. <laughs> oh, no, I knew it. Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today is the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. Oh, so he's just a little baby, too. Oh, just twisting the knife into my heart. All right, fine. I'm invested in little Luca Van Horn, and I clearly need to be looking over his shoulder and guiding him through this story. So let's see where we can take the tale. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, no! I was six years old when you died, and it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. Oh... It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Oh no, he's crying! Oh, don't cry, little one. I mean, no cry. It's totally okay to cry, especially right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you can cry all you want, but but I'm I'm hoping that we can maybe find you some like pretty flowers to make you feel better or something. Not that I could erase your dad, but still. Hey Luca! Oh good, a friend! Okay, this is exactly what you need when you're feeling down sometimes, if you're like an outgoing type type of person. And that's like look, we've got a best bud here, clearly going to like make everything better, right? I knew I'd find you here. Rollo was Luca's closest friend. Uh-huh, see, I called it. Mm-hmm, closest friend. Now he's gonna help us feel better. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Hmm. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered. 
and after I checked the pond, and climbed up the treehouse. Then I knew I'd find you here. Rolo finally noticed the tears swelling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Aww. Oh yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep it up now that your mom's gone too. Oh no! <laughs> hey, Rolo! Oh no! What do you mean? Both parents? Oh dear. She's not gone. She's just... missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's going to come back, Rolo. Uh, of course she is. Oh man! This is just like a lot for poor little Luca. Okay, Dad. See you next time. Oh my gosh. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Oh my goodness, Luca! <laughs> He's so, so cute. And Rollo, oh, well, you know what? That's kids. And, and man, okay, okay. Let's, let's try to find something happy. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. Oh, look at the little flowers! They're so cute. Oh my gosh, look at that! <gasps> look at that! Oh wait, look at that! What's this? Tickle? Oh, that seems so precious, but like, what? What? Hello? Like, wonderful! I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. Okay, the book is possessed. Like, that is my, my current working philosophy, is that this book is actually possessed. Uh, ergo, it knows what we're doing, a but... A charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Oh, a charm! Oh, so we got like a little tickle charm? I wonder how on earth that works. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Okay. Like... Alright, I can't do anything with it at the moment, but we can run around. <gasps> he did it again! Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I can't stop. It's just so cute. It's just so cute. And look at all the little flowers that grow back. They grow back so fast. Okay, this is so precious. All right, that's that's adorable and whimsy and cozy. And I hope that making all of the wishes on the dandelions and playing with the flowers was... Oh, so cute. Was able to go ahead and cheer Luca up a little bit. All right. Let's go before I, like, destroy this poor kid's allergies. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Rollo looked to the side suspiciously. Uh, not here. They might be watching. Wait, who's they? Oh no, is this related to our mom disappearing? Does it just look adorable and peaceful and actually, like, right on the other side of the fence there's, like, something lurking? They who? Okay, apparently not. Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. Alright, I just have to tell Grand and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand still kind of wigs me out. Wait, why? I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. <laughs> Wait, what? Telegram. Oh, do we have like a cute little to-do list? Oh, precious child. I knew you and I already had a bond. He's probably got like a wonderful journal just tucked in there. Maybe he's writing down some joy moments amidst all of the sad things. Uh, and telegram before heading out with Rollo. Got it. Oh, hey, did that go in our bag too? Hey, it went in our bag too. Okay, that's nifty. All right, Luca. Is there anything else that we can play with flower-wise? Oh, 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 hey! Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Uh-huh. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. Okay. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. All right, suspicious, but this is a suspicious book, so we'll carry on. Some of them can be found in this very house. Also suspicious? Is our gran like a witch? Okay. What is that? Oh, hey! Just some dusty knickknacks. This is cute! You mean we can, like, find them by just, like, digging around our house? Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Oh. So Gran was maybe helping our mom out. Or did mom disappear, like, half a year ago, too? Oh, no. One of his father's old stethoscopes. Oh. 
Was Dad a doctor? Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Oh, Luca. Gran had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm really curious about Gran. Oh, hey, huh, glasses. Ponder. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay, so that's all we would all look at him slide off. The, so I guess we can just come over here and then we can ponder. It doesn't seem like anything's happening, but I wouldn't be surprised if you pondered long enough. It, maybe you could fall asleep and you could like doze. And so far it seems to be like verbs that we're collecting, like ponder and tickle. They're actions that one does. Hopefully every day, because that sounds adorable. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. Oh. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Oh. Even after all this time? Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so cute! And then we get the hide. Okay. So ponder and hide. And then what else happens here? Oh, hey, okay, so this, I think this is our room, but it looks like Gran's like living with us, which is kind of sweet. I guess one of the upstairs rooms is a closet and I guess neither of them wanted to mess with, you know, his parents' bedroom. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Oh, that's really cute. Oh my goodness. All right, is there anything over here? Maybe evidence that Gran is a witch? Whoever put all these plants in the house definitely has my vote. What's this? Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was oh. the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Oh, hmm. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> all right. So now we have chill, hide, ponder, and tickle. That's adorable. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Okay, this is so adorable. Oh my gosh. All right. Anything else up here? No, it looks like we're good. Okay, let's explore more of the house. Looks, oh wait, what's this? Was this, was this anything? No, I think it was just related to the closet again. And then if we come down here, what do we have here? Oh, look at the little kitchen! Oh, more flowers! Oh. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Okay, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, junk? Okay, so that's actually not a verb anymore. Now we're like moving into nouns. Junk. Okay, so it looks like the charms can be a lot of things. Can we, can we like do the dishes? That's so cute. You can just go ahead and like turn the little sink on. What about the stove? Nope, nothing there. An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. Oh, wow. Okay, so I guess Gran is really, really organized then. Oh, and is she a gardener? <gasps> Look at this. There's canned goods here. Oh my goodness. And it looks like there's a bunch of seeds and there's a bunch of like soil. Okay, that's very, very, very exciting. And what's this? The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. The only piece? That's so interesting. Did she have anything else or did she just drop everything and like hurry over and for some reason the only thing that she brought with her was this hutch? I think that's a little suspicious. I think we're gonna learn a lot about Luca when we find Gran, who's probably out here. Oh my, <gasps> this is quite exciting. I'll say, I mean, look at all these plants. Oh, I had no, I mean, I had some idea because I was hoping, but I had no idea it was gonna be so beautiful. Look at the garden. And also look at Gran. She actually does look like she could potentially be a witch of some kind. I'm gonna just kind of put that in the noted category and keep an eye on her. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. Oh dear, how long has this book been here? You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. What? There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Oh, and that's the charms we've been collecting. 
But what does that mean? Does that mean oh, does that mean we could guide poor little Luca into like a really bad ending? Because that is not what I want. I want to make sure this this kid, you know, maybe he's got to go through some struggles to like develop and learn and grow. But I don't want him to like struggle suffer. Step forth, dear reader. <gasps> look how beautiful. Okay, this is really pretty. Can we look at anything else? Oh, oh, oh what's this? A sturdy old wheelbarrow. All right, maybe we can find something else. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Okay, also really adorable. Let's see, anything else over here? A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Wait, a beginner's guide? Does that mean that Gran is trying to learn how to garden now? Or maybe that's Luca? And, like, so this is, I mean, this is clearly a very old and established garden, so maybe it's mom or dad's. And now they're just trying to keep it alive. Oh, that's so sad. All right, and then we have Gran right over here. Uh, hey, Gran. Hey, Gran, I'm going to go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Oh, cool. And then it just crosses out, like, our little, our little task we had. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed, exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Grand knew, the better for everyone involved. Really? But why? Oh, hey! Oh, we were just gonna blank for the day. Oh, you could put ponder, hide, or chill. <laughs> All right, well, let's try chill. Cause uh, you know, you're just chilling with your friends. We were just gonna go chill for the day. Yeah, yeah, that's all grand. Oh wait, <gasps> did that just make it like all cold with all of the blue that spread everywhere? Wait a second, did I just call like winter into summer? We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. You know what? Impressive. Oh. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. Uh, I mean, now I'm wondering what the other outcomes could have been, though. That is the power of charms. Okay. A single word can change everything. Okay. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. What now? Oh, wait. Okay. What do we have here? The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. Oh, cool! Oh, wow! So maybe the tree will look different as it grows, depending on what turning point you pick. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Oh my gosh, how many, how many potential endings could we guide Luca into then? Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. What? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> dramatically? It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. The one and only? Wait. Okay, so a grand jury. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, okay. And then you can go back to that page and we could say instead of chill, what if we were going to go um, hide for the day? We were just gonna go hide for the day. You know, like play trick or like not trick or treat. Oh my gosh, like play hide and go seek. We were just gonna go hide for the day. Hide? Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. <laughs> yeah, I guess Rolo bet some other kids that we could beat them at hide and seek? Aren't you a little old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. All's well that ends well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So then we could go... Oh, I see. Then, oh, you could come over here again, and then we could say we're just going to go ponder for the day. All right, we let's see what that outcome would be. Ponder for the day. I wonder how dramatic, like, the future outcomes will be. We were just going to go ponder for the day. Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day? Exactly. This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Uh, you know, big stuff. Small stuff, medium, that's so cute. Mostly medium pondering. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance of pondering. Huh? 
Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. All right, I want to keep that. I think that you can like go back and you could change it if you wanted to. But I really like a preponderance of pondering. That was adorable. So now that we've done that, and do we still have... So you get to keep the charm, it looks like. I wonder how many you can get. Oh, and Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Get into trouble with Rolo. Oh my gosh, that's our next next task. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, I guess we know what we've got to do now. We need to go ahead and we need to find where our good friend Rolo has run off to so that we can go ahead and get into trouble with him here in the beautiful world of Beacon Pines, where we have got a new job, a very important job. We are going to do our best to guide young Luca through his summer, I bet, maybe to find his mom. I mean, that's kind of obvious, I think, uh, without apparently a really horrible dramatic fate. <laughs> I'm actually a little nervous now because I don't trust this to stay cute and charming. I, I think we're being lured into a trap. An emotion. Oh, we can jump. Oh, wait. Oh, that's so cute. He can just lean against the little fence like he's so sassy. Oh, this is adorable. All right. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll meet you back here for dandelions and potential danger next time. Bye-bye.